AI is a very important tool and uh, ignoring AI uh, is going to be not the right thing to do for a human resource profession. And also to say that uh, the coming or the introduction of AI is not going to change the human resource uh, profession is going to be wrong. AI is definitely already changing a lot of human resources uh, function and the roles and responsibility. So as a practitioner or as a company leader, what do I need to be aware of? How is the future of human resource function going to be? And what should we be prepared about? So the first and the most important thing or the low hanging fruit that AI is doing is it is taking away a day to day decisions and it is trying to get into the four day of decision making from a standpoint of day to day mundane tasks, simple tasks being even though there is still um, authenticity or credibility is being looked at attrition rates, predictive uh, analytics in terms of who is going to resign, who is going to be the right fit for a particular role but eventually over a period of time these accuracies will pick or improve even if they don't improve we will start structuring our things to do it that way only to start trusting these decisions even if that decision doesn't match with our thought process we will start trusting and running a system by that decision so which means ai will take away a lot of decisions which are required to be taken today by an HR practitioner. So from a skill standpoint, uh, people who are in operations activities are the first ones who are going to get impacted by AI because not only AI, even HRMS is impacting uh, researches at about 5 to 10% uh, you know, cost reduction in HR manpower happens as a result of HRMS implementation. And AI is then going to be impacting uh, people who are responsible for talent management. Uh, it's definitely impacting uh, talent acquisition, but it is not impacting headhunters. It is not impacting those individuals who are involved in uh, talent um, building, which means succession, which means um, training need identification, uh, which means mentoring, which means coaching those it is not it is obviously trying to replace individuals from the compensation and benefits uh, right after operations comp and when is going to get impacted because that's going to become totally ai driven and they are the ones who are at the maximum uh, grunt of being replaced by computers so as an individual what is it that we can do uh, fortunately uh, india is still catching up on ai so we are uh, far behind than the AI curve in the human resource area. So which means that as an AI or a, as an HR practitioner, you have time to understand HR tech because no matter what happens, every organization will have to undergo an HR tech journey. So even if AI is available in India, let's say as of tomorrow, any organization to be able to fully utilize the benefits of AI will have a journey of at least two to five years. So that's the time that if you are aware of tech, you will have the ability to reskill yourself and re-contribute to the organization and becoming an indispensable part of the organization. So which means each one of us needs to understand what tech is. Each one of us needs to see how tech can impact my function and we need to start working towards that.